This is the new and improved streamer vs viewer 2.0 for Tickfinity and TikTok Live. I'm going to show you how to add a countdown timer that gets interrupted when TNT explodes like we're seeing now. I will also show you how to add TNT rain like this. We'll look at how to add different sized cubes. Here's a smaller one and here's a bigger one. And we'll make a few other minor improvements as well such as getting different types of block. To get started, you need a Windows PC with a local Paper MC server installed on it. If you haven't done this yet, then you can follow my guide, which I've put in the description. So let's start by adding both the updated TNT Rain plugin along with the new Countdown plugin. Both of these plugins have been made completely free by Timecode. So if you want to say thanks to him, I've put his Buy Me A Coffee page in the description. So firstly, if your server's running, just stop your server, then head to your folder with your server in it and head inside the plugins folder. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to highlight every single plugins folder and delete it, but I'm not going to delete the jar files. You then want to open the delayed TNT link, which I've got in the description and download the top jar folder. You want to place this inside your plugins folder. So just double click plugins, place it here. If you've already got it, just hit save and choose yes to replace it. Equally, we need the new countdown plugin. So let's do the same step again. It's linked in the description. Download the top jar file. Once again, place it in your plugins folder. If you've already got it, just click on its name to make sure it's named correctly. Press save and it will overwrite it. Now to install these plugins, let's head back to our Minecraft folder and double click on our run.bat. After a few seconds, one of the messages will say that delayed TNT was enabled and another one will say that the cubic countdown was enabled. While we've got this open at the bottom, just type op followed by your Minecraft username to make sure that you have the operator role. Now let's just load back into our server. If you don't have your server added, you can just follow what I'm doing here. It's pretty simple and we'll just connect into our server. And of course, I've already got some cubes built, but let's build another cube from scratch. Before we do that, let's check some basic settings. Firstly, into your chat, type slash game mode creative. Make sure you're not in survival mode. Next, a lot of people want the time set permanently today. So firstly, slash time set day. And secondly, slash game rule, do daylight cycle false. Once you've run both those commands, you'll be permanently on daytime. And the final set we're going to change, we're going to press escape, click on options, click on video settings, and make sure GUI scale is set to 2. If it's higher than 2, the countdown text is not going to show properly on the screen. So let's start by creating our cube. As you can see, I've got two different sized cubes. So let's look at how I did that. We used a combination of chat GPT and our Minecraft coordinates. So to get your coordinates, just press F3 on your keyboard. You can see them in the top left. Now we head to chat GPT, which is linked in the description and copy the prompt, which is linked in the description. And in this section here, we just enter our current coordinates. Once you've done that, chat GPT is going to reply with the coordinates for a 10 by 10 by 10 box. However, if you want it bigger, all you need to do is reply with the dimensions. So I've just replied by saying make it 13 by 13 by 13 instead. And sure enough, ChatGPT has just replied with three commands, which we now just need to paste one by one into our Minecraft game. So here comes the second one and here comes the third one. And when we've got them all successfully added, we should have a nice looking 13 by 13 by 13 bedrock cube and here it is and before i forget i'm going to press f3 again to hide the coordinates now we've got our cube it is time to set up the countdown to do this i'm going to type into my chat slash cc setup and just hit enter now i have to go into the corner of my box and just right click it and then we need to go into the diagonal corner so again we have to be in creative mode so we can fly and just right click the diagonal corner it now wants me to press T to open the chat and define the amount of seconds the countdown is going to be. For me, I'm going to choose 15 seconds. Finally, I have to press T again to name it. I'm just going to name mine Cube. And now the countdown is successfully set up. Just quickly, if you're struggling with this, I'm available on Fiverr, which is linked in the description. And if you want free advice every single week to grow and monetize your stream, then check out Live Success, which is linked in the description. Now it's time to set up Tickfinity, and then we'll test the TNT rain and we'll test the countdown. 
So use the Tickfinity desktop app, which I've linked in the description, sign in on the setup page, scroll down and make sure you are logged into TikTok and then scroll up a little bit and test the Minecraft connection. Once again, if the connection's not working, check out my guide in the description to set it up properly. Now let's do a quick setup. Let's add TNT rain, TNT and the reset command. So with this one, I'm spawning five TNT. Each TNT appears every 0.5 seconds and it has a three second fuse. These are the rest of the action settings and now I'll just save it. I'm now going to duplicate it to add in the TNT rain. So I've updated these top settings for the 20 TNT rain and it's actually very similar to the slash TNT. You just put slash TNT rain instead. This is 20 TNT rain. Each TNT spawns every 0.1 seconds and it has a four second fuse because it's falling from the sky. I suggest you add a slightly longer fuse. This is future Harry here. I just realized that you actually have to add your username to the end of this TNT rain command. If you don't add your username, it's not going to run the command. So that's very important. Don't forget to do that like I did. The bottom settings are once again the same and I'll press save. And finally, I'll add a reset action. Here's the top section. For the Minecraft command, we have to head back to chat GPT and copy our second one where it fills the box with air. We'll head back into Tickfinity, just copy and paste it into the box. Once again, these bottom settings are fine. We'll just save that. Of course, with Tickfinity, you can add up to five for free. So feel free to duplicate and change the TNT or TNT rain amounts. Now we need to assign them to specific gifts. So I'll do what you saw in the thumbnail. Let's assign the TNT rain to a rose. So something like that, and I'll press save. Let's assign the money gun to the reset, as you saw in the thumbnail as well. And just because of popular gift, let's assign the sunglasses to our regular TNT command. Now let's scroll down, make sure you increase the queue size of screen one or whatever screen is listed here to 1000. Now let's click on the link and we're gonna add this to Live Studio or OBS. Inside Live Studio, I'm gonna click add source, click on link, paste in the link and press add source. If you're using compatibility mode, make sure it's added the link to both portrait and landscape. We can of course click on it to see where it's placed. But now the most important bit, let's test it. Now it's time to test everything. And I'm gonna suggest you do some juggling and make sure you have Tickfinity, Live Studio and Minecraft all on your screen. And on the actions and events page, let's scroll to the bottom and under the GIF simulator, start by selecting the rose and we'll test the TNT rain. So I'll click simulate GIF and you can see the TNT rain is spawning as expected. We'll also simulate these sunglasses to make sure the regular TNT is spawning as expected. Sometimes it bugs a little bit, you saw it was black, but it is spawning as we expected. And if I just place some blocks and then simulate the money gun, if I type in money gun, we should see that when I press simulate, you can see the blocks have now disappeared. But of course, we want to test that the countdown's working. So head to chat GPT and copy your hollow it out command, which should be the second one. And take yourself to the top of the cube and into the chat, just paste it in, but replace the word air with diamond underscore block, and then just press enter and you'll fill it with diamond blocks. This isn't actually going to start the countdown itself. You're going to have to break one of the blocks and replace one of the blocks. And now you can see the countdown is working. I've skipped a few seconds, but we've now hit zero. It says the game's ended. It's added one win to the counter. Let's repeat this again, but now let's interrupt it with TNT. So I'm going to break a block, replace the block and into my chart. I'm just going to type slash TNT one zero one going to spawn one TNT with a one second fuse and you can see TNT cancels it. Let's fill these blocks again and just test the TNT rain. So TNT rain one zero one. Hopefully it spawns inside the blocks. Actually the timer's not long enough so one zero three. Try it like this it does need time to fall to the ground and there you go the countdown's cancelled. So that is the new and improved streamer versus viewer 2.0. If you find you're getting warnings while you're live streaming, check out this video here to learn how to stop them.